I am going through and editing what you guys are about to watch and you guys can see through the screen how uncomfortable I am sharing this story and I apologize. I just feel like it should be shared and it needs to be shared. everyone welcome to today's video I am just getting over being sick so if I sound a little bit nasally or my voice does weird things throughout the video I'm getting over something and I do feel a lot better but that's what I have going on but the video I'm going to share my story with my friends creepy dad now keep in mind, I was 19 when this happened, and you guys are going to sit and watch this and think, why, why, why did she do this? Why did she think this was the right decision? Well, I simply say, at the time, 19 year old me thought I was making the right decisions and even if somebody had tried to tell me any different, I would have said my way is the right way anyway. Part of why I'm sharing this is because I want other people to hear this. I want other people to know that this stuff can happen. You're not invincible. Seek help from the beginning because that's not what I did. The other part is I just want to share this because this happened to me and it's part of my story. It's honestly made me who I am up until this point. I've made a lot of my life decisions and choices because of the situation. So little tiny bit of a backstory. I graduated high school. I got a job and I made a friend at said job and we were besties right away, hung out all the time, met his family, met his other friends and just over the course of the friendship, people's lives change and him, his cousin and a couple other friends are living in his grandparents efficiency and we all hung out together we drank together and we smoked green together and we did a little bit of wild crazy stuff but most of it was just hanging out and just doing said drinking and smoking and that was pretty much the extent of it as time went on, when this group lived in this efficiency, they got themselves into trouble. And all but two of them went to prison. One of them moved away and the other one went to the military. I was not quite aware that this had happened because they were still sitting in jail awaiting their trial and they had just got arrested the day before I went to the efficiency. So I get to the efficiency and nobody's there. This was a setup where, you know, everybody just came and hung out and chilled. Nobody called before. People just showed up whenever they wanted to. The only people that are there are my friend's cousin who I just don't know how to describe it. I just would say that we were never really super close, really friends. We never really even spoke to each other. There was just something about him that always made me feel uneasy. And my friend's dad is there. Well, in the past, we had all smoked with him. And friend's dad was there. 
I was going to do what I came there to do. Smoked, left, went and hung out with other people. And I went over there one day and I wanted to drink, tried to get them to buy me alcohol. Wouldn't happen. But I would still go over there and smoke. And I started hanging out there longer. Every time I went there, smoked, hung out. Until I'd go there and I would smoke and I would lose whole blocks of time. I'd get there at one. The next thing I would remember, it's like 1030 at night. Had no clue what happened. And mind you, I went there just to smoke green. And that's all I asked for. That's all I consented to. Nothing else. And things started getting really weird. I was noticing a weird feeling, you know, after you perform an activity, you just, you know it happened. I will say it didn't hurt, so, but you can just tell when something's been up there. And added to the fact that I was losing whole blocks of time, I knew something was up. So, my whole family got new cell phones, and this is when camera and video phones were first coming out, and I got a camera phone and a video phone. And I thought, well, if I can set this to record while we're smoking, I'll know what happens. I go there, want to smoke, and he's basically like, no, I don't have anything, which is odd because never, never happens. And he's super interested in this new phone. <clears throat> I think he knew that this phone could record and take pictures. He wanted to see it. He wanted to look at it. Check it out. Did not smoke that night. Went there the next time. And he had family visiting from somewhere. And I want to say it was a niece. Well, this niece was round about my age. And she was under the impression that him and I were together. A couple, a thing, an item. And I was just excuse me well he made himself disappear for that entire night didn't see nothing of him I hung out with her she was cool she we were the same age she was totally cool and we had a good night that's she went back to where she's from and I don't even remember her name but she told me a lot of stuff about him, stuff that he was doing, substances that concerned me. <clears throat> so I keep going, keep trying to record everything, and we go to smoke, and I have my phone recording, and I'm like, this is it. I'm going to know what happened. We smoke, I lose a block of time, I become aware, I get in my car, I drive up to the street, drive up the street to a convenience store, check my phone, and I'm watching, and after we smoke, you see him get up and shut the camera off on my phone. He knew I was recording him. Which, I know stuff is happening while I was blacking out. I just didn't know what. 
So even his nephew that I really am not friends or friendly with starts making comments and referring to me as his aunt and just weird creepy stuff guys because this guy is old enough to be my dad. I'm going there just to smoke and drink if he will buy me alcohol. They move to a different local area, and I went there twice. The first time, I tried talking to his mom, trying to figure out if he had told her anything. And she had some health issues. Her chair was right by the door of the room that we were in all the time. And she's pulling, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know great. So I go back one more time, try to film, camera shut off again. So I changed my number and this was really before a time of at least me having social media. I was kind of late to the that club and Never contacted those people again, still to this day. And I wish I would have done some things different. Um, I definitely should have done a lot of things different. Um, but that's where the story about it ends. I just basically wanted to share my situation and what you don't do because in that given situation I did everything that I shouldn't have done and I don't want any of you to find yourself in situations like that ever but that's today's video I've got several more for you guys. They're not as juicy as this. They're some financial videos and I do have a bad experience with a candy company. I do think I'm gonna do that one next because that one is just crazy. But that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see my next one and any other further videos, subscribe and hit the bell and I will see you next time. Bye.